lot of industries hit very hard by the pandemic. The movie theater industry obviously forced closures. It's been a very tough go. Cineplex out with this latest quarterly earnings. And of course, we saw quite a hit to the revenue line, an 85% plunge. What does the future of the industry look like? Ellis Jacobs, CEO of Cineplex, joins us now. Welcome to the program, as always. Obviously, when you see results like this, we're not surprised knowing what's happening with the theater business. How do you survive through this? It's been a long time. We have been very prudent in managing our costs. And in the quarter, we did a sale leaseback on our head office building for $57 million. And we also did a high yield uh, $250 million uh, a note, which uh, will get us through uh, at least the balance of uh, 2021 and into 2022. So we've done everything we can to keep our company in a strong and positive position. All right, so you raise that cash to make it through to the other side. What are you starting to think in terms of when we might get there? I mean, I know neither of us are doctors or medical professionals, but it does feel like as more and more Canadians get their shots and we hopefully get the third wave behind us, that maybe at some point we get to go to the movies. Yeah, I'm actually getting more encouraged. Uh, as you said, the shots definitely are going to uh, see us on the other side. And what's going on in other countries has really been positive. When you look at China, you look at Japan with the movie Demon Slayer, which was the largest movie ever, even pre-pandemic comparisons, what's happening in Australia. And now even the U.S., uh, the numbers are very strong and everything is pointing to a positive return. We just have to get the opportunity to reopen and uh, we are ready to take on our guests and our employees are ready to move forward. Would it be feasible, I guess, that perhaps it would be a phased reopening in the sense that would you anticipate you'd stop to run it, you know, a quarter capacity, half capacity? Uh, there, there were times, obviously, during this pandemic where I think that was the case for your business, right? Like, not, you couldn't fill all the seats, but you were allowed to open. Yes, we were. And we did extremely well with the movie Tenant when we were open back uh, last year. And uh, we were open with reduced capacities and it varied by province. And uh, we uh, feel that uh, as we ramp up, we will probably go through that phase as we saw in the US. And uh, today in the US, there are 10 states that have no restrictions and others have uh, you know, certain restrictions with 50% of capacity up to uh, certain limits with physical distancing. But we are ready to reopen and, uh, you know, we've done everything we can to make sure that our guests have a safe and uh, fantastic experience when our employees do when they are in the uh, cinemas. What does the pipeline look like in terms of movies that you'll be able to put on the screen? I know some have been delayed. I'm a big fan of Daniel Craig as James Bond. I think we've been waiting a year now uh, to see the final installment. I guess what's going to be his final installment. I mean, uh, what, what does it look like in terms of what you can put on the screen and what is coming to entice viewers in? There's a lot coming, and that's uh, positive because there's been a real backlog of movies that were held into 2021 and 2022. The uh, movie for the month of May is A Quiet Place 2, which is opening on May the 28th. And then the big movies, there are a couple in uh, June, which includes uh, In the Heights, and then you've got uh, Peter Rabbit 2 and Fast and Furious at the end of June, which was expected to be a very strong movie. Uh, the Bond movie is looking like it's going to be in uh, the October timeframe at the moment, and I am uh, quite uh, convinced that we will see it on that date because a lot of the studios now are continuing to uh, keep to the dates that they have planned from a release perspective. What has the digital business been like? I, I have the Cineplex uh, app on my television, and I, I have watched movies on it, but I will admit that it's it's a bit of a shock, right? When you're at home, you say, oh, 20 some odd bucks, and then my wife will remind me, when the four of us used to go to the movies, it was a lot more than that. Uh, I guess just to say, what's the, what's the uptake been like? Has that been a bit of a hurdle mentally for people to say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna pay a bit of a premium here, because I'm watching a movie that I would have seen in the theaters for a much higher price. Yes, we are seeing some strong, uh, you know, uptake in the uh, Cineplex store. 
And we basically played movies like, uh, you know, Wonder Woman that ex did extremely well. And the reason being is the theaters aren't open. So we are giving our guests a choice of what uh, they can see and how they see it. And we've done that uh, in a number of cases. But uh, our guests are missing that, uh, you know, social experience in the movie theaters. And when we uh, did a survey of our scene members, they can't wait to come back and uh, get that big screen, big sound, and all of the different uh, ways we have movies playing from the, you know, the VIP to the Ultra AVX to the IMAX to the 3Ds. There's so many choices today, you can't replicate that on your couch.